coverage tonight, CBS 47's A.J. Cotto has the impact on classes at Fresno State. But first, CBS 47's Shauna Kalafi joins us live with how local religious groups are working to keep their congregations safe. Shauna. We spoke to a couple religious leaders here in Fresno today. They say they're encouraging people in the high risk category to stay home and they're keeping them connected during services with videos and live streams. Faith based organizations that are having gatherings, you know, if they can break those into smaller groups to allow for some social distancing, that those are really good steps that can be put in place. Staff at the Unitarian Universalist Church of Fresno spent hours coming up with a plan to keep their congregation safe. Really strategizing how we can meet the spiritual needs of the congregation without putting anybody who is a vulnerable population at risk. So how can we how can we bring church to people who aren't feeling safe enough to come out of their house? This weekend, for the first time ever, the church will be live streaming its Sunday services. At Temple Beth Israel, Rabbi Rick Weiner says some members of his congregation have expressed concerns. We really want to help cooperate with the community around us and and minimize the risk of spreading the disease um, to people who are vulnerable. He says there are usually between 30 to 100 people at the regular Friday services with plenty of room to keep a safe distance. So for now, the Friday services will continue, but the temple's big festival of Purim celebration this weekend has been put on hold. We're trying to anticipate anything that can come up, so um, whether or not we might need to move to streaming. Uh, normally in a, in a Jewish service, um, we don't allow um, video um, taping that will probably change. We also reached out to People's Church, one of the biggest congregations in Fresno, to hear about their plans, but so far we haven't heard back. Reporting live in Fresno, Shauna Kalafi, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.